So the most simple basic exercise that most people don't do enough is simply walking. Now I know it's not sexy or exciting, it's not gonna add an inch to your biceps, but it will help your body produce more energy. Hi guys, Cameron from DoubleTestosterone.com here. And today I wanna to tell you about what I call the flywheel effect of exercise and how you can use it to improve your health and your hormonal balance. So the flywheel effect of exercise is simply this. When you move your body more, your body produces more energy so that you can keep moving your body more. So this is simple adaptation, but it needs to be done gradually and intelligently. You don't wanna to try to go from zero to 100 overnight. Now your body is adapting constantly to everything you do with it all day long. So if you're sitting all day, your body is adapting to sitting, and those are negative adaptations you don't want. These are things like putting on body fat, slowing down your metabolic rate, making your hip flexors short and tight, stretching out and weakening your glutes. Now when you're standing, your body adapts to standing. So getting a standing desk is a great idea and it's something that I highly recommend, but standing is not movement. So the most simple basic exercise that most people don't do enough is simply walking. If you start walking more, your body will adapt to that movement and those adaptations over time will improve your health and your hormone levels. So walking is actually one of the easiest ways to improve your health and improve your digestion, improve your circulation and your hormones. Even if you work out on a regular basis, you can benefit from walking more. Now I know it's not sexy or exciting, it's not gonna add an inch to your biceps, but it will help your body produce more energy. It'll improve your blood circulation. It'll improve your digestion. Just by walking for 10 or 15 minutes after a meal, you're going to digest that meal better than if you just sat around after you ate. Now here are some more benefits of walking. It reduces inflammation and it balances cortisol. Both those things can help with fat loss and both those things can improve your mood. This means that when you walk enough, it can reduce your body fat along with lowering stress, anxiety, and depression. Walking increases natural opioid production in your brain and that reduces body pain and it helps promote better sleep. And good sleep is one of the keys to good testosterone levels. It increases synovial fluid in your joints, so your knees will actually hurt less over time as long as you start at a moderate step count and slowly increase, giving your body plenty of time to adapt. Walking increases your lymphatic flow, which is mandatory for optimal health because our lymph is only moved by the pumping action of our muscles. So this means that walking actually helps your body to detoxify itself. It also lowers your blood pressure and it increases oxygen flow to your brain. So you can use walking as part of an intelligent plan to get off of high blood pressure medications because those medications kill your testosterone levels. Walking is great for all the muscles in the legs, the ankles, in your feet, as well as the muscles in your lower back and the postural muscles in your upper back. So this means that walking is actually really powerful for reducing back pain. Now you wanna have good upright posture while you're walking. You don't wanna be looking down at your phone. You wanna be standing tall and you wanna make sure that your glutes are firing as you walk. So you wanna make your strides a little bit longer than normal because you fire your glutes at the end of a longer stride. You also wanna be gently pushing with your calf muscles as you walk because you want all of your leg muscles as well as your postural muscles to all be working. Now, when you walk after a meal, your muscles will soak up blood glucose without the need for insulin. And that's because there's a receptor on the muscle tissue called GLUT4 that is stimulated by exercise and it prompts those muscle cells to soak up glucose in the bloodstream. And so that means your pancreas won't have to produce as much insulin as it normally does after a meal. So over time, it's going to improve and increase your insulin sensitivity. The place to start is to just walk for 10 or 15 minutes after meals. It's that simple to get started. Don't overcomplicate it. You can walk around pretty much anywhere, even if you're in a small room. You can just pace back and forth if that's what you have to do. Now, if you wanna track your steps, get an app on your phone that does not use your GPS because you want that phone in airplane mode while you're walking. Now, also don't worry about hitting some high mark like 10,000 steps a day, especially if you're not walking at all right now. Your body needs time to adapt. So start with just tracking how much you're walking right now and slowly, gradually ramp it up over time. Just add some extra minutes to your walks after meals. 
squeeze in little five or 10 minute walks here and there, wherever you can. Every little bit helps. So that's all you have to do to get a nice improvement in your health and your hormones, plus burn some extra calories. If you combine that with an intelligent diet, you're gonna start dropping body fat gradually, which is the best and the most sustainable way to get lean. Now that's it for this short video. If you liked it, click like, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment and let me know what kind of experience that you've had with walking more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.